Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric back again with another video. And in this video, I am running 2019.36.2.1. I just got the software update a couple days ago, posted the video yesterday, and I wanted to share some of my thoughts after having this software update for several days. Now, this software update, much like other software updates, is a step improvement in the right direction towards full autonomy, towards less driver interventions. And on the roads that I typically drive, I haven't had to do any interventions. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I like to do the curvy country road test, which is a very curvy road, and I will be testing that with this 36.2.1 test also. Previous software updates on my channel on this road had a lot of phantom braking because of these tighter curves and a lot of the shadows that are created by these trees, although at this time we don't see any shadows and we don't see any phantom braking. I hope to test that again when there is more shadows, but as you know, it is winter time. Creating those shadows in a different direction or a different way because of the positioning of the sun, but we're not gonna get into astronomy here. So overall, I was really impressed with how this autopilot did perform, especially on these roads that I've seen previous versions of autopilot perform as well. Now, as I did mention in my software update video, I did see that, like you just saw there, the car did slow down at a pretty reasonable pace, a lot more like a human driver, whereas in previous software updates, it just was not as smooth. So definitely good to see another update where it does have that really smooth stopping, even though we are on some hills here and it's able to see that car in front of you enough to where it doesn't have to slam on the brakes. So what I'm looking at right here on the touchscreen now, and I know it's difficult to see, but there's actually a car right to my left and the autopilot system isn't rendering that car. You can see the black part of the car right there. And it does see the two cars behind me because of the rear camera, but it doesn't see that car next to me. So there is some work on the visualization side, like I pointed out in my last video with regards to that bus that was showing like a double bus. So I definitely think we're gonna see some updates there. So I am using the one pedal driving feature here. So I'm gonna disengage and it automatically puts the car on hold until I push the accelerator pedal, but it will go down to zero, even though regen is limited right now because the battery is cold. My car has been sitting outside all day, and so the battery is cold. So even when I push on the accelerator, although it does take a little bit longer to slow down because of limited regen, it still will go to zero and put the car on hold, which is nice because as we get into winter time, that one pedal driving is still available. So also with this update, I've been testing this intersection, the same intersection that I do with my intersection test to see if it is still staying true and if it is able to pass. But first on a side note, if you ever see this blue hold right underneath where it says zero miles per hour, that blue hold is telling me that the car is on hold. So I have to push the accelerator for the autopilot to go. This sometimes happens when you're in autopilot and it comes to a stop abruptly. So here we go through the intersection. Let's see if 36.2.1 passes through. And as you can see, it is really smooth. We have no jumping of the blue lines or anything like that. So they're definitely having a lot of fun with this because you know. Girls just wanna have fun. So we're gonna go through again, this time at night, and it does hug a little bit to the left-hand side, but it passes. So every time I've done this intersection, it does pass successfully. So without sounding like a broken record, I wanna show you this clip right here. It is dark at night. We have a truck stopped way in front of us and look how smoothly the autopilot is coming to a stop. This is not what we saw a couple updates ago. So Tesla is definitely getting better at recognizing when cars are at a stop before they would abruptly come to a stop. So it's nice and smooth. It, gives me as the driver confidence knowing that I don't have to take over and gives me more confidence in the autopilot system that it does see the car in front of me. So great job to Tesla. Now we do have a little bit of construction going on here and you can see the lane markings do kind of go to the left and right and we have some solid dash lines and the autopilot performs perfectly. This is part of the reason why I do believe Elon when he states that 
only visual systems are needed so we don't need lidar we don't need hd maps and all that because things change right there is construction that happens and there is a lot of variables like something could fall off the truck in front of me and then that would be in the road so you need a visual system that's able to take over and steer you properly on the highway you can see how the autopilot maintains the center lane position flawlessly even around this big Boeing curve on this interstate here. I mean, it's really incredible. And then not to mention navigate on autopilot right here, changing lanes into the right-hand lane, knowing that it's gotta take this exit and not to mention taking the exit. I'm really excited for the next several software updates, but I don't wanna skip over 36.2.1 because I do think that this is a big one and timed correctly because winter is coming. Okay, no Game of Thrones jokes, but for real, they did a great job with this schedule departure that I wanted to talk about right now. So you can see my Model 3 parked in the garage. It is plugged in, but it's not charging. So if we go into the car, you can see here that I actually scheduled it to be ready at 7.15. So how did I do that, right? So the car's plugged in, and I tap down here where it says, schedule that's located right in the bottom center where it says schedule departure right and so you can say depart at for this example 715 during the weekdays we want it to be ready at 715 now your car doesn't have to be need to be plugged in but why this is so important is that the battery is going to be warmed up so you're not going to have this limited regen warning like i've had the past couple days because it's been in a 30 degree temperature here so really fantastic job that tesla did and you can see here that yep we're going to charge up your car don't worry and it's going to be ready to go at 7 15 a.m tomorrow so kudos to tesla really well-timed update i want to encourage you yes you right now watching this video to head over to my patreon and support this channel for as little as one dollar a month special shout out to akrama tool and nicola pro for supporting this channel at the top tier thank you so much for supporting this channel i really appreciate it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video with a friend i'll see you in the next one